Hi everyone, in this quick video I'm going to be relocating the diesel fuel primer pump on the Mark IV Mondeo. Uh, as I've done with most of the car so far, I've showed you the general cleaning up and this is one of them jobs that's bugging me. It's sagged round by where the dipstick is and I want to relocate it back up and make it look a lot tidier than what it does. So let's crack on with this video. Let's go. So now I'm going to relocate the primer pump and I'm going to relocate it to here. To do that I'm going to have to cut into this line here shrink this cut uh, this hose down here so i've got myself a hacksaw and a couple of other little tools flat blade and a uh, standing knife catch can to catch any diesel that comes out of the line so i'm going to set the camera aside and crack on this down see if there's any fuel out of it be a little bit I'm sure so now I'm going to work out where I need to cut into the line here to relocate the, the, the primer bulb so I'm going to undo the jubilee clips take it off get this roughly sitting where I want it here then mark it up and get it off cut and get done so let's crack on trim down this hose so I'll cut it with a hacksaw get this where I want it to sit I'm going to cut it oh. I'm going to cut it with that so fine I know it's not the tidiest of jobs but it's going to be a lot tidier than what it was before slide that over there Get that to sit where we want it. Get the jubilee clip in a minute and stick that on there. Bear in mind you need to have it attached over here still. So release this one here and I'm going to pull that back so let's get that different screwdriver on there and then that can give me a bit more levy on here so let's grab another jubilee clip and that's that tidying up Enough. Let me bag of Jubilee clips. Find a couple of decent sized ones.
sure it's sitting where you want it. As neat and tidy as you can. Then all that's left to do is unstart it. quite normal it's because the fuel line's got air in it so try again a couple of times to get all the air out of it and it'll start eventually. no leaks when you've cut it it looks a lot tidier than what it did hanging all around down here
there shouldn't be any leaks anywhere. Seems to be all good, everything's tightened up nicely. Let's turn the engine off and restart it again. See what happens. Put the cover back on, I believe that's another job in the bag. Uh, getting a funny noise coming from up around here. Don't know if you heard that, but I'll investigate that and find out what it is. Let's get the engine cover back on and call it a day. There you go, let me get the camera out. That looks a lot tidier. Remember, the bulb was down here, so it's all hid. Looks a lot tidier down the side here. So, let's have a job done. I'm going to investigate what that noise was. It's coming from the back here. So, we'll have a look at that another day. But, that's it done. So there it is guys, I've nothing major in the video, it's just literally relocating the primer bulb from where it was to where it is and it looks a lot better now doesn't it? So it looks, I'm happy with where it is now, there's no leaks on it, it's working okay, it took a couple of attempts to pump and keep starting it to get the fuel, the diesel to go around, but it works, so that's another job done. Also if you've noticed in this video that the engine bay plastics are looking a lot tidier and a lot cleaner, that's because I've already started treating the plastics and giving it all a good clean on the engine bay but that'd be another video for another day so for now i'm going to leave it here as you can see i've got project st set right here and it's going to be coming back onto the channel soon and um if you're a new viewer consider le le uh, subscribing should we say and if you're a returning viewer please leave a like it helps youtube recognize the video as a good video and they push it out all the more so thanks for sticking around see you in the next video bye for now